Welcome to our lecture online. Our next example of how to find the limit here deals with limits going out to infinity. So the limit of x squared minus 1 divided by x squared plus 1 as x approaches negative infinity. What you do with those is you want to rewrite those and what you do is you find the largest exponent x squared so therefore you're going to divide both the numerator and the denominator by 1 over x squared. So we go 1 over x squared for the numerator and 1 over x squared for the denominator. So when we multiply, we're essentially dividing by x squared. When we do that, we get the following. It will now look like a different format. So we have this is equal to the limit as x approaches negative infinity. Now by doing this, notice what happens now. x squared divided by x squared is 1 minus 1 over x squared divided by, again, x squared divided by x squared is 1 plus 1 over x squared. Now when we do that, we can now take the limit. Before, if we didn't do that, we'll put in the limit on the numerator, we get infinity squared. In the denominator, we get infinity squared. So infinity squared by the, divided by infinity squared wouldn't work very well. But now we can plug in the limit and see what happens. So this is equal to 1 minus 1 over negative infinity quantity squared divided by 1 plus 1 over negative infinity quantity squared. So when we square that, we get, in essence, infinity squared is still infinity, so we get 1 minus 1 over infinity divided by 1 plus 1 over infinity. And of course, any number divided by infinity, no matter how large the numerator is, when you divide by infinity, you get 0. So therefore, this is equal to 1 minus 0 over 1 plus 0. So essentially, this is equal to 1. And that is how you find the limit when we have limits going out to infinity or negative infinity. You cannot have the x in the numerator, you have to somehow get the x in the denominator and then you can plug in infinity or negative infinity. And that's how we do that.